Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Khal Mr. Khaled Asfar. I am one of the ICT teachers in the school. And I will be teaching you how to create an e-portfolio using the software OneNote. So the objective is, I want you to know the step-by-step -step process we will go through to create an e-portfolio. So the topics that I will be talking to you about is, first of all, what is OneNote? And how to create a Microsoft account and download OneNote? Then how to use OneNote? Why do we want to know about OneNote? Because it's the software we will be using to create the ePortfolio. And then, after getting familiar with OneNote, what we want to do is know about what is an ePortfolio, how to create one, and how to save it and submit your work so one of the teachers can take a look at it. So let's start with what is OneNote. So OneNote, in a nutshell, is a digital notebook. It's like the notebooks you have, where you have sections and pages where you can write on it, stick pictures, sticky notes, use different inks, anything like that, but it is digital meaning it is on your computer device. Most of how we use it is going to be like we use a regular notebook. And it can be used for various reasons. Many people use it for different things. People write scripts on it. People write notes in, um, in their lectures on it. But how we will be using it is creating an e-portfolio. So now let's talk about the Microsoft account first. We need a Microsoft account so we can use OneNote. We can't use it without a Microsoft account. So how to create one? We go to login.live.com. We follow those steps, those four steps, easy steps. Click on create now or sign up now. It's going to ask you for an email account. Put in your email. And after you put in your email, it's going to ask you for more information. Like your name. Uh, maybe your title, your occupation, your location, I'm not sure, but it's going to ask you about some things. Like your name, and uh, yeah, it's going to ask you about your phone number. And when you put in your phone number, it's going to send you a text message, so you can verify that it's you. The text message is going to have a four or five number code, and uh, you put in this code, and it's going to verify that this is your phone number. The same thing with the email. The email you put, they're going to send you an email to your uh, to your email account, and you have to open and verify from your email. So after you fill on those things, proceed until you finish, put, put in all information they request, and then you would have a Microsoft account. So that's the first success we're going to have in this task. The second thing is we want to download OneNote. After we have the Microsoft account, we can use, start using OneNote with that Microsoft account. So we want to download OneNote. Some of you might have it on the computer. If you have it, you can go to the search bar and look for OneNote. You might have it on your computer. It's going to be much easier. But if you don't have it, you can easily download it for free and no hassle. Go to Google, type in download OneNote, and then click on this icon. You see, you're going to see download OneNote from www.onenote.com. It's going to be one of the search results. This is a screenshot of the, of the search result I'm talking about. It's called download OneNote from OneNote.com. So when the link opens, go to that link. When the link opens, click on download. Uh, and then you're going to have a file downloaded on your computer. Just open that file. When you open that file, a window will pop up which will tell you, um, do you allow this software to make changes to the computer? You just click yes or install. It depends on what comes up. So after you click on yes, the computer will start installing Microsoft Office on the computer. So when it's downloaded, when the loading bar finishes, it's, it might take some time. It's a, it would take maybe 5 to 15 minutes. So when it downloads and finishes and you have it on your computer, you will be ready to start learning how to use OneNote. So uh, we talked about the topics which will be included. First of all, what is OneNote? 
second of all, um, how to create a Microsoft account and download OneNote. We did those two things. And now we will talk about using OneNote. Now to use OneNote, we can go to the separate video where I demonstrate to you how to use OneNote. So in this video, I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to leave it to the other video. Go to the video called Using OneNote where I would show you step by step how to use OneNote so you can know how to create whatever you want on OneNote. Okay, then after using OneNote, we want to know first of all, what is an ePortfolio? And then we want to know how to create an ePortfolio using OneNote. And we want to know how to save and submit the work. So let's start with what is an ePortfolio, the thing we want to create this semester. This is our topic. So an ePortfolio, it's basically a collection of the things, of the documents, of the files, uh, the things you went through in this course, the, create, the work you created in your subjects. So it's just a collection of all of those things, the essays, the posters, photographs, videos, applications, websites, it depends, whatever you did, anything that you worked on through this semester, you collect those things in one place and you call that the ePortfolio. Of course, in an organized manner. So you can also add uh, things like your volunteer work or your field trips. I know some of the, uh, the students went out on field trips. Um, they went on the zip lines on, uh, and stuff like that. So anything you did, you can include it. Even if you worked, if, you, if your father had a shop and you worked in that shop or if whatever work you did, um, you can include that in your ePortfolio. So this is an example. The following is an example of a simple ePortfolio. It's just a simple one like the one you're supposed to be creating. So here you can see the name, Raymond Santos, my ePortfolio, that's the title. And then you can see here, there are sections, about me section, blog section, chemistry section, geometry section, biology, so you have different sections. And about me, it's an introduction of who the student is. So this is an introduction of who the student is, uh, Raymond Santos. You, can, you, you would write your name as the headline, then you would write a little bit of things about yourself. Um, of course, uh, what do your friends call you if, you, if your friends call you anything? What do you like to do? Uh, tell us a bit about yourself, uh, if you have favorite subjects, if you have hobbies, if you have pets, siblings, anything you want to add in, you can add in here. So introduce yourself so we can know more about you. This is the About Me section. And if you see here, if we click on blog, like not on this PowerPoint, but in the ePortfolio itself, if you click on blog or you click on chemistry, you're going to be going between those sections. If you go to chemistry, you're going to be the section about chemistry. So, uh, of course, in the section about chemistry, is going to be having maybe posters, essays, uh, worksheets, anything that he worked on in chemistry during the semester. Geometry, the same thing. He might have pictures of uh, models he did, uh, the Earth model or Volcano models, or essays in geometry. Biology is the same thing. You might have a model of the heart, anything like that, anything that you worked on, hobbies. So the sections, the teachers would tell you what sections to create. You're going to create one section for each topic you're going to be working on. So this is basically a new portfolio. So it's going to be easy, inshallah, and it's going to be fun. Why do we make an e-portfolio is because, first of all, we can reflect on what we learned in this semester. We can go back and see what we learned by putting all the things we learned. We can draw connections between the things we learned in each subject. And we can showcase or we can display our work so other people can see. So the last section. I hope an ePortfolio, what is an ePortfolio is clear for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. And for now, I'm going to go to the next section. So the next section, the last section is creating your ePortfolio using OneNote and saving and submitting your work. So this is going to be explained on a different video called creating an ePortfolio. So right now, we finished this video. What I want you to do is create a Microsoft account, download OneNote, log into OneNote using your Microsoft account, and then go to the video and watch it, which is using OneNote, the first video.
And then after you're done with that, I want you to watch the video creating an ePortfolio, which I would demonstrate how to create an ePortfolio using OneNote. Watch that one too. And by this, inshallah, you would have all the things necessary for you to create an ePortfolio. So start creating it. And then, then save your work and submit it to your teachers. If they ask you to submit it on Edmodo, do so. If they want it, if they want you to send it by email, do so. However, your teachers tell you to submit your work, submit it to them. And you would have your ePortfolio. I hope this was clear for you. I hope this is easy. And I'm excited to see some of your work. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.